Hey, you guys, this is Pat Council, and I am back, and I'm here to talk about how to finish strong in 2014. I mean, this is December. This is the final month of this year, just in case you didn't know that. You guys knew that, right? And you really don't want to give up because there are a lot of celebrations going on, a lot of parties going on, and people are having fun. People are thinking about shopping and buying toys and buying different things for themselves and other members of their family. And they think that that means, okay, now I can, I, I can give up because the year is pretty much over. The year is not over until December 31st when we do the countdown to go into 2015. So if you want to finish strong, you want to stay the course. So here's the thing. How do you finish strong when there's so much going on around you? There's a lot of things that are going on in our country right now, and it seems like, oh, my goodness, with all of this that's going on in our country, and now people who are taking off of work and, and they're shutting down early, how can I possibly finish strong? The key to finishing strong, first of all, is to remember, why are you doing what you're doing? Your why has to be extremely strong. Your why has to be so strong until you're passionate about it, until it either makes you super excited or it brings you to tears, not because you're sad, but tears because, oh my goodness, you were just so passionate about this amazing goal that you set for yourself. Now, if your why is that strong, you are going to stay the course. You are going to keep going. And I'm going to tell you something. When you have a very strong why, time is not a factor. Things can happen in the blink of an eye. Okay, or maybe two blinks, but they can happen very quickly and they can happen for you this month. You can still finish strong. The other thing that you want to do is that in order to finish strong is you want to focus. You want to pay attention to what it is you're doing. What are your goals, your most immediate goals that you really want to get done that will help you consider in your mind that you have in fact finished strong. So you want to feel good about the goals that you have. You don't want to feel, oh my goodness, this is so overwhelming, this is so much. So narrow it down to maybe uh, three or even five goals that you are going to achieve this month. If it's just one monetary goal, that's good because guess what? You can focus on that one goal. If it's one physical fitness goal, that's good because you can focus on that physical fitness goal. And here's the thing. Hey. If it's a physical fitness goal, oh, you can be a whole new person in 30 days. I mean, really, you can. But do it safely. The thing about finishing strong is to have a strong why and is to commit to being focused. Okay, don't get sidetracked by all the parties. You might have to miss a few. And listen, I love celebrations. I love celebrating. I love having fun. I love just mixing and mingling with people. It's I just love it. And December, in fact, is one of my favorite months, second only to my birth month. So I love December. And so, but that's not going to stop me from focusing on my goals. It's not going to stop me from, uh, or cause me to shut down and say, okay, I might as well get started in 2015. Don't send that message to your mind that you are a quitter. Because you're not, right? Of course you're not. Now, here's the thing. So we know we need to have a strong why. We know we need to have a strong commitment as it relates to being very focused. You know, it's like you got to be like an eagle, sharp, you know, with that sharp vision. And you've got to have that tunnel vision. And so we know we need to stay really focused. And the final thing is don't quit until the buzzer sounds. That's one of the things that I have for myself is I never give up until the buzzer sounds. And for me, the buzzer actually sounds the end of the month. Do I take time off um, for Christmas? I celebrate Christmas. And so do I take time off for Christmas? Yes, I take time to celebrate. I take time to have fun. It's my favorite holiday, one of them. And the thing is, is that I know I'm going to take that time off. But here's the thing. I also know that up until it's time for me to celebrate, I am going to keep working until the buzzer sounds. So whatever goals I have for December, I'm going to work on those. Now, the thing is, is we're going into 2015. And how you really handle December 2014 determines the type of momentum that you go into 2015 with. Now, you, a lot of people, uh, statistics show that usually by the 15th of January, people kind of opt out of those New Year's resolutions that they set. One of the ways to stay the course is kind of be like an airplane. You know when an airplane kind of takes off, you know, and it just keeps going up, 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 up? You know, once it gets that momentum, it's, it's gone. 
And so you want to continue to, to stay the course in 2014 and really keep that momentum going because it'll take you right into 2015. And you know what? You're not going to stop. You're not going to fizzle out by January 15th. You're going to keep going and you are going to be strong even in 2015. So there's more than one reason to finish strong in 2014. All right. To wrap up, you're going to finish strong in 2014 so that you can end the year and be excited about the goals that you achieved this year. You're also going to finish strong in 2014 so that you can soar into 2015 and make some great things happen. I mean, that's really what it's all about, you guys. Get that momentum going. Go into 2015 and make some great things happen. Okay, start making the great things happen now. <laughs> Okay, that's all I have for you guys. And you know what? No matter what, do life with power. So what are you going to do starting right now? You are going to get focused and get on those 2014 goals. And you're going to keep going. 